Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? All right, so check it out, Pisces. This is your general reading, like spirit monthly message, yes, for August 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for August of 2020 doesn't mean it has to resonate th in that way or at that time necessarily. You all right out there, George? Sorry, I have roosters in my backyard because um, I live in Puerto Rico. Uh, uh, also, um, keep in mind that it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to resonate for you at that time, whenever you're guided to watch the reading and it resonates and that's the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes. So please take what resonates and leave, leave what doesn't. Okay. I'm glad that's over because Pisces. Oh my God. I just did your love reading, man. And whoo, girl. <laughs> okay. So, but, but now, and, and the common trend has been for all readings ever since I started doing it this way last month. The common trend has been that somehow, in some way, the spirit monthly message, the general message, mirrors the love reading. Because I start, I do, I start each sign with the love reading, right? And Pisces, I have your pre-shuffle here, and we're starting you off with the Devil and the Tower, followed by the Queen of Swords the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. So, where do I want to even begin? I, 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 you closed the toxic cycle, Pisces. You, you closed it. Done. You're releasing yourself from some sort of attach, from some sort of uh -huh, attachment, codependency, toxicity, whatever you want to call it. You laid down the law, you put your foot down, you were like, look, no, th there is no going back. There is no if, there are no if, ands, or buts. There are no more chances. Um, this, this is over. This is done. Okay. And I, 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 I don't want, I don't want you to think that maybe you did this in a malicious way, but really what the queen of swords is saying, like there are, there are, are no if, ands, or buts. There's no arguing. There's no fine tuning. There's no second chances, blah, blah. No, there's no trying again. No, no, no. Cerrado. We're done. We're closed. <laughs> We're done. You have the Ten of Pentacles here. And that to me is a lesson learned. It could also represent being in something for the long haul, family, business, career, uh, marriage. But it could also, but also I see the Ten of Pentacles as you've completed a life lesson and now you're ready to move on to the next. And it seems that what the, the life lesson you've completed here, Pisces, has to do with reciprocity, the balance between give and take, which is now allowing some sort of new love to come in. Maybe you have the you have the page of cups here, and then you have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. I mean, this isn't specifically meant to be a love reading, but if so, take this as it resonates. If this is business, then it's business. It's some if this. Um, um, a new romantic offer or a new creative offer, a new creative start, a new romantic start. So think of it that way, right? If it's not romance, then it's creative. Something that really fuels your heart. Oh, six of cups, six of wands. Shucks. All right, Pisces. Okay, okay, okay. This is cool. This is really cool. All right. <laughs> the devil and the tower came back. Came. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Jesus Christmas. Hold on. Okay. Here we go, Pisces. Let's get into this for you. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Pisceans. <clears throat> Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of August 2020. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Pisces, five shuffles. Let's see what we've got here for you. One. And my Pisces. Two. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, <coughs> and Jupiter, and five. Boop. All right. Overall energy. Ooh. Okay. Five of Wands. What are we fighting over? What are we arguing over? What? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I was asking all those questions, and then I thought back to the pre-shuffle, and I was like, oh, I know what we're fighting over. And this is definitely a differing of opinion. So maybe if you cut something off or you cut someone off, maybe they didn't take it as well as you may have hoped or you may have wanted. Um, or maybe they just feel very differently about the situation than you do. Okay, but that's really just an opinion here. <laughs> underneath that, you have the Magician. And then underneath the Magician, you have the Four of Pentacles. And Strength is underneath that. So, the Four of Pentacles can be um, an energy of hoarding something, an energy of really needing to let go. And I kind of want to say, in some cases, there's someone that's holding on to you. And you're not trying to have that. Um, you've got things to do. You've got a direction to move in. You've got things to manifest. And it could be that's where that differing of opinion is coming into play with this Five of Wands here. Someone is trying to hold on to you. The other thing that I'm getting also is this Four of Pentacles could be you standing your ground against someone else that just does not agree with what you're trying to manifest in your life or direction that you're trying to move in. And it's taking shit. Yo, it's taking strength, right? The strength to really put this to an end. Ten of Swords. Okay. All right, uh, cool. Let's get into the rest of this here. First set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. We've got Nine of Cups. <laughs> And you know what is so funny about that, Pisces? That was the first card in the first the first set of surrounding energies in your love reading. Sorry, power. Um, so you're content. You're good on your own. You're focusing on your own happiness. You're focusing on loving yourself. And that's excellent, Pisces. There's a lot of good that's coming to you because of that, too. Regardless of what these other people have to say or this other person, maybe if it's just one other, like, regardless, regardless of what they have to say, Pisces, your happiness is on lock because you're making sure of it. Your happiness is not contingent on someone else. You don't need any some another person to live or be or act a certain way in order for you to be happy. And that could very well, very well be could very well have been the deciding factor that caused you to cut out some sort of toxic relationship. The tower with the devil. Nine of Cups is coupled with, oh, uh, the Queen of Wands. Well, well, isn't that just like the perfect combination to, uh, to, to symbolize the law of attraction? Perfect. Because the Queen of Wands is receptive, right? Because she's the feminine, okay? And she represents, you know, getting into that, that, that receptive mode, getting into alignment with what it is you want. And you do that by focusing on your happiness. What brings you pleasure? What brings you joy? What makes you excited? What makes you feel good? Well, all of those things that you just identified when I asked those questions, stay focused on those. Because they are going to give you exactly what it is you're trying to manifest. Second set of, of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. 
<laughs> in the first half of your reading, we have the Three of Wands. Good. You are well on your path. You are, <laughs> I'm hearing, waiting for the right time to strike. Um, waiting for a return on an investment. But but my advice with this Three of Wands energy is as you're waiting for this, uh, waiting for this return on an investment, you can still be investing into the situation to keep the momentum going. And quite frankly, I feel like that's a really excellent idea because when the, when the return actually comes back around to you, it's most likely going to reflect everything that you've been investing this whole time while you were waiting for it. There you go. Three of Wands is coupled with oh, the Queen of Cups. Uh, focus on your emotional value. Focus on your emotions. Listen to your intuition is what Spirit is saying through this. Co-conspirator. Because you are a co-conspirator. <laughs> I mean... I guess you could use that word. Spirit's not saying it in a derogatory way or like a mean, bad way. We are co-creators, right? So as you're in this period, uh, 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 I'm sorry, we're co-creators. We are co-creating with each other, but also with the universe, okay? But the universe is speaking here. Excuse me. As you are rolling through on your path, waiting for a return on, the, on, on your investment, there are going to be instances where the universe is going to come through and say, hey, we need you to do this, or hey, take this action, or hey, go to this place, or hey, talk to this person, or hey, buy this gift for this person. That kind of thing, you know? As the momentum is building, the universe and your intuition are going to continually give you signs, synchronicities, and action steps to take to help facilitate what it is you are trying to manifest. So make sure to trust your intuition and follow the signs, okay? Your challenge in the first half of your reading here. <clears throat> Trusting your intuition, Pisces, <laughs> the high priestess. Now this does represent you, Pisces, but I, I, I don't really see it that way right now. I'm not looking at it, looking at it that way. But yeah, trust your intuition because you don't know how things are going to work out. <clears throat> and you don't know what one action is going to mean for someone or what it's going to catalyze, what chain of events it's going to catalyze or blah, 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 or how, or even how anything is ever re even really connected right now. I know I had a situation with my car. If y'all have been following me, then you know Betty's a little beat up right now. But, um, well, she was at least, as, at least... To, uh, um, as of the end of July of 2020, she was beat up. Um, and I was kind of freaking out. I was panicking because, like, I can't even drive her right now. Like, I have, a, I have to have a rental car, which is money I don't really want to have to be spending. But you know what? It's fine. Whatever. The universe is helping me out here. <clears throat> but there was one night right after um, Betty got mangled where I was really kind of just, like, frustrated and free kind of freaking out and was just, like, laying in my bed trying not to have like a panic attack. And there was this feminine voice that came through one of my guides and she said, please just let this play out. And I was like, oh, all right, sure, okay. And now and now that it's actually like, I'm in the process of it playing, playing out now, it's like, oh, I see what you did there, spirit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so like, whatever. So trust your intuition, trust the universe, trust that the circumstances are in direct alignment with what it is you are trying to manifest, even if you can't see it, okay? Okay, the high priestess is coupled with, ooh, the king of pentacles. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a masculine counterpart, this king of pentacles. We are aligning you with the King of Pentacles to your Queen of Pentacles is, is in essence what Spirit is saying here. So you just have to trust the process and go with the flow. Because it's all going to work out beautifully in the end. And Pisces, <laughs> Pisces, if you're not on Patreon, 
for that love reading, you might want to get yourself on there, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying anything else other than that is a fucking beautiful reading. <clears throat> and some of y'all Pisces out there are some real lucky bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you're not really that lucky because if you're fine, if you're resonating with that and you're finding yourself going in that direction, you've been doing the work to get there. So like you, you it's not really luck. You created it for yourself, but okay. All right. Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Pisces. In the first half of your reading, you've got the page of swords. Somebody's watching you again. I mean. <sighs> Page of Swords is coupled with. <laughs> the Fool. Someone is watching you because they want to take a leap of faith with you. They're watching how you move. It's probably this King of Pentacles. I'm going to leave it there. I mean, there's. There's really nothing else that I want to say about that other than you need to be willing to take a leap of faith and that did also come out in your love reading, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, so I'm going to do part two over on Patreon, Spirit Monthly Message Part 2. If you're not on Patreon yet, I highly recommend that you do so. $5 or two tiers. $5 a month gives you Spirit Monthly Messages Part 2. Seven dollars a month is the full, <clears throat> the full Monty, right? So you get everything that I post on Patreon, including the love readings. Okay. So with that said, if I don't see you over on Patreon, I still thank you so very much for being here and for tuning in. Um, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of September. Yeah. Take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>